So here we are demonstrating anchor repair on the saw bone. So this is the Bilinoid bone surface and this is Bilinoid debron. This is 12 o'clock position with this attachment to long head of the biceps channel. This is 3 o'clock, this is 6 o'clock, and this is 9 o'clock. The anchor lesion is usually present in anterior inferior vinal, so we will demonstrate this liberal repair over this area. With use of the hammer, we will elevate the soft tissue on the middle surface of the vinal for better mobilization. Once the tissue is properly mobilized, we use a rasp to create the bleeding surface. So this is downward facing the rasp. It is used to create a bleeding surface over the medial surface of the vinoid so that there will be better healing of the vinoid over the vinoid. Once tissue is mobilized and bleeding bone is created, we create an area over the vinoid surface for anchor insertion. We use this ring puree to remove little bit area of cartilage so that anchor insertion becomes easier over this area. So for repair of the inferior renumeral ligament at 6 o'clock position, we position our anchor at around 5 or 3 o'clock. We insert the sphere and trocar. After confirming the proper position, we hammer the trocar inside. It comes with an auto stopper, so that it will stop automatically once desired length is inserted. After removing the trocar, now we insert the drill bit. After reaching the desired length, it will stop automatically because it comes with an auto stopper. Now, without changing the angle of the sphere, in the same track, we will insert the suture anchor. This is 2.8 mm minimum picket suture anchor with single loaded suture. Without changing the angle, in the same pile of load, we insert the suture anchor. This comes with an auto stopper, it will stop after reaching the desired length inside the pilot hole. Now unwinding the suture material and removing the shaft of the anchor. So this is the knot pusher, the tip of the suture is passed through the hole of the knot pusher. Knot pusher is passed over the post 
and it is slided inside so that the soft tissue will reattach over the anchor point so that the renal rear labrum will oppose over the renal bone and our repair will be completed. So this is the first sliding knot. After passing the first sliding knot, multiple half switches are taken one by one. Here we have to make sure the tip of the knot portion should not be sharp, otherwise, otherwise it will cut the suture material. After proper knot are passed, it is time to cut with the use of the suture cutter device.